this yeah hi friends this is Ravi Kiran from Ravi Kiran Tech Logs yeah today topic is uh, after installing Active Directory so we are going to check uh, what roles and services are installed on 2019 operating system so let's click on tools see you can see Active Directory Administrator Center and Domain and Trust and the module for uh, Windows PowerShell and sites and services and users and computers so ADSI edit so this is the uh, Active Directory sch schema update and you can see a group policy management by default when you install Active Directory's role so this will be installed and you can see DNS also DNS is installed by default uh, it is a Active Directory integrated AD if you click DNS you can see DNS information so this server is as a DNS server you can verify if you expand you can see Ravi Kiran tech log is forward lookup zone you can see DC01 is 10.0.0.10 is a our DNS IP address and the name server is dc 01ravikirantechcom like this and uh, if you want to con configure reverse lookup zone uh, right click new zone so I am creating primary zone so click next and we are using IPv4 just type the network ID so it will update all Active Directory integrated zone if you add any workstation or server in DC by default uh, the A record will be created in DNS so now let's see so just now we have configured so I'll update uh, PTI record so if I refresh the PTI record is created so now this is the DNS so I'll show you a complete DNS configuration and how to create records on next video uh, let's go to Active Directory services uh, users and computers you can see uh, you can create users groups organizational unit you can create on Active Directory let me show you this is the Active Directory. If you click Active Directory Users and Computers, uh, this is 01.ravikirantech.com. So you can see uh, built in built in groups, security groups. These are the security groups uh, default in 2000, uh, 2019 server. Obviously, it will be same on all the uh, 2008 and 12, 16. So if I click uh, View Advanced Features, so I can see multiple folders so i can see ntds quotas and users system program data so all the information will be there so if i click domain controllers i can see only one single domain controller so it is showing so if any computer is added into the domain so it will show here if you want to create any active directory uh, organizational unit you can right click on domain name you can see here computer contact group INET group person and this is a um, MSDS and MS imaging PS and MS MQ alias and you can create organizational unit and printer user share folder you can create anything uh, these options can be created so I want to create organizational unit let's click so I am going to create for Ravi Kiran Tech Servers. So I'm creating servers. So server OU is created, and I'm going to create another OU. Ravi Kiran Tech Admins. Admin is uh, OU is created, so I'm going to create another OU Ravi Kiran Tech Servers. Sorry, service is already added. Uh, let's have workstations. 
okay so workstations is done so i'm going to create another last ou we can create multiple ous it's not an issue users so four ous has been created so i'm going to create one admin account so right click you can click here new and you can select user so i'm creating one account so this is the default ravikrenter.com at the rate so i am going to give the password so user must change password at next login means if user can log in any of the machine it will prompt to change the password so i'm um, not required for me so if you are giving for any other new user you need to select this one so that he can change the password a uh, user cannot change password so if i click this one user cannot change password so same default password can be used so another one password never expires so this password uh, by default uh, there is a, a policy in domain controller so there will be a 45 days uh, time one minute let me show you if you open command prompt open net account sorry see here is a domain policy default policy so minimum password age is 1 and maximum password age is 42 days so minimum password length is 7 so length of password history maintain is 24 password so in active directory if you are changing the default password like if i uh, s provided a new a default password so if you want to change that was password will be a second password if you want to the change that password which you uh, changed recently it will have a 24 uh, history maintained in active directory and lock uh, lockout threshold is uh, never so uh, duration minutes if account is locked so after 30 minutes a default it will be unlocked and the computer role is primary so this server is a domain controller so it's showing primary if you verify net accounts on any other machine so it will show backup server so it is not a domain controller okay and let's i'll create a security group uh, let me okay um, password is done and I am going to create another OU so I am creating another OU for security uh, groups created on different OU so it will maintain a, a, all the groups so I am going to create see admin admin group so here uh, in group uh, groups you will have a group scope so domain local means in this domain only it will work so global means it will work on multiple universal means uh, if trust between uh, two domain controllers this group can be visible on any other domain controller in the next uh, trusted domain so what is the difference between a uh, group type yeah security and distribution so security is the uh, it, it will allow access to any share folder computer or anything uh, the security can be used for distribution for email address uh, distribution is used if you're part of distribution group so you will get email if anyone sending email to distribution group so in that group how many users are there so all the users will get the emails so this is the difference between security group and distribution group okay so group is created i'm going to create another group and let's mm, remote pc group
you can create multiple and uh, HR group I'm going to create another group marketing group you can sales group so like this we can create groups so users I can create user can change first logon so I'm keeping default password for him so it is done so you can right click on the account same policies can be added suppose I'm going to add a Ravi uh, to a security group so right click and add uh, he is from sales groups sales group so I have added to sales group so if I right click whatever the security groups in uh, Ravi ID so all the security groups will be added to Raju ID see okay see right click properties you can see member of so sales group by default I have selected the copy account so default groups will be added okay and uh, let me show you active directory uh, user attributes see here general the first name last name and initial display name a description office telephone number email address web page you can add all these information and address you can update the address details account user logon name so if if you want to log in any of the server this name will be used to log in the machine you can give the uh, restrictions uh, to the uh, user to log on the hours also you can select so it's now blue totally so it is allowed it is permitted he can log in anytime so if you want to not uh, uh, this denied on the so and so Saturday and Sunday so he cannot log in servers on Saturday Sunday like this you can uh, give the timing so you can give the particular time also deny so on this time he cannot log in so time restrictions can be and unlock if any pa uh, account is logged it will show you here locked the statement is unlocked account right click and uh, apply ok so it will unlock and account options you can see here uh, user must change password next logon user cannot change password password never expires we have seen only three and account disabled on this while creating so you can see multiple here password stored um, password using a reversible encryption and uh, smart card required and uh, uh, DS encryption and uh, all the Kerberos authentication we can en uh, enable and uh, see while creating this account never expire is there so if you want to uh, create particular time this account should be active you can give the time and date uh, sorry date you can provide and another one profile so multiple profiles are there these are the active directory so if you want to add uh, the person to active directory uh, domain admin so you want to go here and you can add domain admins you can add if you want to search any active directory groups you can right click search with the groups you can see all the security groups here right there and uh, uh, the location of the uh, user so ravikiran tech uh, tech .com is the domain so ravikiran tech hyphen users the location user stored so created modified all the information will be there and uh, if you like this video please uh, click like and share and subscribe 
and uh, please uh, click on bell icon so I'm going to create another video on uh, Active Directory uh, is completed now so I'm going to create another Active Directory uh, sites and uh, certificate authority so the my next video okay thanks for watching have a nice day